Now there's a couple different ways you do this. I like to use my hands. I find it's, uh, it's actually works out the best for me. So if you just take your sugar and you're just going to press it on. And don't worry, we will have enough um, because we can also, the other great benefit of having that pan underneath is it helps uh, save that, that excess sugar that ends up on the bottom of the pan. You can just pour it right back into the container and use it for the rest of the tier. You just want to really make sure you get this nice and covered. And I think we're almost done with this side and I'm going to shake off the excess and pour this extra sugar back into the containers and we'll do the other half. So once we finish the other half, we have our finished tier and it's ready to start stacking our tiers. You'll notice once you get your cake stacked that there are a couple places where you don't have some of the sugar. So let me show you how we're going to get in there and fix that. You want to take your brush and get as much of the extra off as you can. And all you're going to do is really carefully make sure you don't get any on that upper tier. And just get enough in there. We're going to use a small spoon. And this just is going to give us a little more control than using our hands would. And you just want to tap it in there. And finally, using our royal icing in our bag with a number three tip, I'm just going to pipe a very thin bead around the bottom um, of the top tier and the bottom of the bottom tier. And I'm only going to pipe about two inches at a time. And then using our spoon, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. And it's just going to make that edge really nice and clean. And you don't really have to worry about your piping being perfect because it's not going to show. It's not supposed to. You add a little sugar, oops, and then tamp it down. So there we have our finished sugared tier with our, uh, with our two white fondant tiers. And now we're going to get started on making some of our wired bubbles while our champagne bottle finishes up setting up.